Yeah, I'm uh, Anthony Dupont. I've been in Thailand for about 20 years now. Before I was in uh, the DMC, I was always in the travel industry, and then I eventually moved to Thailand and ended up at the DMC, then sales, then moved out to Phuket, and now I'm general manager at Peresa um, in Kamala. So it's a beautiful um, 42 villa property on the Kamala Hills, it's all sort of cliff pool villas overlooking the sea, um, privately owned one single owner so we're small small unique very luxurious um, very green very you know it's just a great place to work a great place to be at the moment okay in essence it's a, it's the trial system to open up Thailand which they're piloting in, in Phuket so the sandbox allows vaccinated travelers from overseas to come to Phuket and stay in Phuket without a quarantine. So um, there are conditions. Um, I won't go into those. Those you can find on the website or, or um, on Thai web, you know, Thai visa websites. But a guest can come here and spend up to 14 days here. Now, if they spend 14 days, then they're allowed to move on to other areas of Thailand. If you come out for 10 days, you have to go straight home. And it allows you to uh, book into a hotel in Phuket and you can choose between two and three hotels in your 14 days and move around Phuket normally. So basically the island is a quarantine island. And that will, is, is, is like a trial scheme for the, for the rest of the country. And recently they've just opened up seven plus seven. So it now means that travelers can come into Phuket for seven days and then go on to the Samui area, Samui, Kotao, Kopanga, and uh, Krabi for seven days as well, under the same kind of conditions. There are conditions that are a little bit draconian at the moment, and a little bit difficult, but you know, you've got to start somewhere, and it's the first steps uh, towards that. Slow and steady. So, interestingly, most the success, well, the success has come actually from Thai um, and US um, and then UK. Now, the numbers haven't been as big as expected. Um, the main reason for that is just the conditions. You know, the, the pre-arrival conditions are a little bit tedious. And then when you get here, you have to have, you know, uh, two or three PCR tests. Um, and you have to book into certain hotels. So the conditions are a little bit restricted. So it's, it, it is really dissuades a classic holiday maker at the moment, I would say, but it's, the success has been for people who are overseas and wanting to come back and visit their family or those that want to spend a long time in Thailand. You know, they do their two weeks here and then they can go off and do, uh, do other things. The good news is that most sort of the infections that we're seeing in Phuket are not from the sandbox, they're not from the international guests. So from that side, it's been very, very successful because, I mean, the guests or the travelers have had the test before arrival and they have a test literally on the day they arrive. So it, they're, they're 98, 99, 100% are going to be negative. So Thailand and Thailand governments is not concerned at the moment about the, the COVID uh, related side of the international arrivals. Well, I mentioned earlier, so, uh, you know, the, the long term is, I mean, I had my cousin come to stay. Uh, he was Danish, so he wanted to spend a long period in Thailand. So he, he came over from Copenhagen, actually spent two weeks here at Baresa. Um, and you're free in the day. You, you, your only requirement is you have to sleep the night in the hotel. So the, in the day, you can do anything you want. You know, used to come to mine. We did boat trips, etc. Um, so he was there. We've had a lot of um, overseas Thai as well who are coming back and who might want to go to Bangkok. But it's better to come and do your, you know, your quarantine in Phuket as opposed to Bangkok. Whereas in Bangkok, you'll be forced to stay in a proper. ASQ is called. It's a sort of state quarantine hotel where you're you're, you're not allowed to leave. At least here you're you're free. You're free to do what you want in the days. Peresa is is quite quiet. I mean, we don't have um, many guests. The what would you see as an environment? Well, all our staff are masked. 
Um, this is this is a requirement. Um, and one of the good things about the sandbox scheme is that it, it, um, the authorities had to vaccinate over 70% of the island. So all Phuket as an island, 70% plus vaccinated, and all our staff, 100% are vaccinated. So that is what you know one good thing. And around the hotel, okay, our staff are in um, are in masks. Guests are required to wear masks if they're in a public area, like if they come to the restaurant. Obviously, when they sit down uh, and have dinner, they, they don't have to. Um, but it's it's quite you know it's quiet and fresh, and um, I think you can see the see the view here. We've got good weather at the moment, but um, you know life goes on. But it's only with one or two or three rooms. So. It's interesting. There are certain areas that are completely quiet and like a ghost town. I mean, Patong, Kata, Karon are very quiet. Um, but the area where I live, near Laguna area, um, it's actually quite busy. You've got a lot of low, um, expats that live in that area as well. And a lot of people are taking villas as well. So Laguna area, Kamala and Phuket town are quite busy. Rawai a little bit. But for me personally, I mean, we can drive around. I mean, the, the island is quiet. You go to the beach, it's empty. Um, you've only got really the local, the local locals uh, at, at the moment. Again, obviously in the quiet areas, most of the, you know, a lot of them are shut down. But in my area, uh, most restaurants are open, and you're allowed you're allowed to go out as normal. Right this month, well, sorry, August, and for the next couple of weeks, there is an alcohol restriction. But that that will be dropped in a couple of um, in a couple of weeks. So for me, uh, with family or let's say my cousin who was here as a sandbox guest, he got on his motorbike, he went down to the restaurant, sat there all day, uh, did what he wanted, swam on the beach, had had a, had had lunch, had dinner, uh, and came back again. So you, actually, you, you hardly notice any difference at all. Apart from arriving in the restaurant, you will notice obviously there's more sanitation, there's more hand washes, and the, and the staff are very, um, very careful as well um, for the COVID with masks and hand, and hand washing. Uh, actually, it's been quite quite an eventful couple of weeks because you know I've had my cousin here, so we've um, and I've got some other friends that have moved down from Bangkok. Uh, to come and live in Phuket for a few months instead of just being shut down up there. So we had a we had a wonderful boat trip a couple of weeks ago because now obviously you can get really good deals. So we hired a catamaran for the day and you can go out to the islands, etc. So we had a good day out with the family and the kids. Do a lot of mountain biking now. Um, you know, people don't know it, but actually Phuket's quite wild. It's got a lot of mountains, got a lot of lakes, reservoirs, trails, forest trails, mountain trails. So we've been doing a lot of that. And my son, who's 15, who's actually taller than me now, is obviously very competitive. So we have to um, we have to compete. So we have to find some sports to compete, you know, with each other. So that's one that's what we're doing. And then beach, you know, beach stuff, you know, um, picnics on the beach, barbecues. I mean, that really hasn't changed for us at all. It's uh, as it was as it was before. It's just the beaches are quiet now. I think this it'll it's going to be slightly problematic, slightly difficult for the next couple of months. We're now first of September, so I think September October, everyone's still feeling their way. You know, um, the the restrictions are a little bit draconian. It's a bit hard. It's a bit costly. But I think that that'll um, generally generally they'll be um, they'll be reduced, and I can see by November December um, it really re opening up more fully. And then we can also see other areas of Thailand now jumping on the bandwagon. You've got Hua Hin announcing, I think today or yesterday, they were going to do the equivalent of their sandbox. They're all called different things. Samui is now open. Chiang Mai wants to. So they're all looking at Phuket to do it. Couple of months, sort out everything, and then it'll get uh, it will get better. Well, we're offering uh, you know full full cancellation, full refund should uh, should something happen. I mean, uh, we've had that before with a lot of domestic travellers. Regulations have changed, and we just say, well, do you want a credit? Because because many still want to come, but they just can't come for those dates. And many have 
said, well, we're international, we prefer a refund, and we just, we just refund 100% uh, everything we have to.